so we've got our Boolean expression for multiplexer. And um, the first thing I uh, realize is these are these variable names that we're using, uh, they're kind of not very descriptive, right? They're descriptive for my example, but they're not uh, very descriptive for our code. So let's come up with some more generic things. So we're just going to say that um, the function we want is out equals, and we're going to have an input 0, so x0, and uh, that's going to be anded with our uh, control. So <laughs> interestingly enough, my first instinct is to actually just go to the data flow and just say that we've got and uh, not c ord with, and so m was our other signal, right? That was my brother's signal, so that's going to be x1 anded with c. So I've already got the data flow done, um, but let's, uh, let's make it a full module here. Um, so I want to look at, well, I want to look and compare both the data flow and the structural specification. So let's say we've got mux um, struct. So it's a structural uh, format. So what are we going to have for inputs? We're going to have, well, we're going to have out x0, x1, and c. Don't forget your semicolon after there. I always do. I put an end module in there. And then we need to list our inputs, uh, which is x0, x1, and c. And what else we've got? We've got our output, which is out. And then we've got some wires in here, right? We've got, if we look at this, we've kind of got two terms and a not, right? Two terms and a not. So um, we're going to have wires, and what do we need? Well, we need C naught, and then we need, we're going to have two terms added together. So we're just going to have, uh, we don't want to go X and Y, we'll go with A and B. All right. Now uh, we can get into our structural uh, specification here. So let's do our not first. That's kind of what I always like to do first. CN is our output and our input is C. So that's giving us what CN is. It's just the not of C. Um, and then what else do we have here? We've got an and. And our and, we're just going to say that's going to A. So we're looking at uh, this term right here, right? We're looking at this term. This The output of this term is A. And our inputs are uh, x0 and c0. Now let's do our other and. And that one needs to output to B. We never have two outputs going to the same wire. Um, that's a good way to get a compiler error. So it looks like this one is x1. And uh, the signal is just C. And finally, we need to OR A with B, right? We need to OR these two terms together, right? OR this term with the next term. Sorry, my mouse is a little glitchy right now. Um, so let's OR. And so our output is out and our input is a and our other input is b so there we go that's our structural specification um and we could also i guess i'm just gonna you can always pause it if you want to look at this but i'm gonna uh, change it now and go to data flow so we're getting rid of all this and our input, our inputs and outputs are staying the same, so we can keep all that stuff in here. The only thing we don't need are these wires anymore. And I already kind of did the the data flow for this, and I'll keep it there. Um, we just need to have an assigned statement, and then we can 
write this in here. And this is just writing our function in a data flow form. So we've got our and symbols, nots. Um, I just need to remember a semicolon. So once again, this is a little bit uh, simpler. Um, and later we'll look at even more ways to uh, make a multiplexer. And uh, specifically, both of the ways that we looked at, they're kind of hard to scale up the way we looked at it, like inside the module. Um, you could also you could take multiple multiplexers and connect them together. In fact, that's a very good uh, problem to practice with um, is connecting multiple multiplexers and, and see what happens and, and, and how that might work and how you might control them. Um, but yeah, so uh, just uh, examples of implementing uh, these functions.